Now that we've covered the paintbrush and we've covered the Kimura transitions from the side mount, I'm going to show you how to go for that same paintbrush with the mount. When JT's on his back and I've got the mount, I want to make sure that I'm not sitting on JT because if he bumps me while I'm sitting on him, I'm going to get flying all over the place. So I want to be on my knees with my hips up a little bit. That way if he bumps, he just kind of bumps up in the air and then I just kind of get to stay grounded. Now, a good jiu-jitsu player is going to have their hands covered, their necks protected, they're not, he's not extending anything. He's not going to just leave his arm out here for me to catch. However, he's never really out of danger because he is mounted, he has limited amount of movement. The paintbrush is always there. Now, I don't know how strong you are, but if I just try to push arm for arm on JT, it's going to take a little while to get his arm down because he's real tight and strong right here. His arm's close, it's pinned into his chest. The muscles are all stiff, they're not ready to move. He's not going to just give his arm up easily. And if I extend my arm, it's going to be a lot harder. However, I got gravity on my side. So what I want to do is I want to kind of take the same approach he has. I don't want to extend my arm too far. I want to kind of keep my arm locked almost like a 90 degree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay low. I'm going to go back and forth, keep messing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my weight behind my arm and I'm just going to collapse his arm to the ground putting all my weight down and my elbow goes right to his ear, okay? Any further out and he's going to have chances to escape. The reason I put the elbow to the ear is because I don't need him looking at what I'm doing. If he's looking at his hand, he's got escapes. So I want to keep his head turned away. Hand down on the ground, my hand comes underneath, and remember, we rotate that hand away from the face. Now I can slide it down and flex up. The tap comes super fast. So watch again. We're here, using our palm, our hand real short, and I just want to bully it down. I want to put all my weight and just collapse it down. Elbow goes to the ear, come underneath, and then rotate that hand away from the face, and then just try to slide his elbow to your knee. Straight down. 